I think we all know that Tetsuya Nomura is a rather busy man. I mean, he's directing two of Square Enix's flagship titles right now, but apparently that doesn't keep him busy enough, as he's now been credited as a character designer on Monolith Soft's upcoming title, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The game was of course announced back during Nintendo's showcase in January, but Tetsuya Nomura's name didn't appear alongside the project until this trailer surfaced during E3 2017. Here you can very clearly see Nomura's name in the credits at the end as a character designer for Torna. It was initially only believed that Nomura had worked on the design for one character, but this has since been clarified on the official Twitter account for the game. They noted that Nomura will be working on character designs for a mysterious organisation who are known as the Torna. At present, it's unknown how many characters will be in the organisation, but from the designs, we know there will at least be two. So we can't just chalk this up as a small commitment, there's at least a degree of investment here. So it's at this point that I feel the need to recap everything that Nomura is working on right now, at least that we know about, as it will allow us to put things into perspective. We of course know that Nomura is working as the director on the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and as the co-director with Taiyasui on Kingdom Hearts 3. Lest we also forget, however, that alongside his directorial duties, he's also serving as a character designer on both of these games, and as a scenario writer on Kingdom Hearts 3, where he is likely being assisted by either Daisuke Watanabe, Masaharu Oka, or both. That's already a considerable workload, but you then have to remember that he's also been the creative producer on Dissidia Final Fantasy throughout its entire lifetime in the arcades, and has therefore transitioned to being the creative producer on the newly announced Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. He works with Hazama to make sure that everything that Team Ninja produced from a graphical perspective is up to scratch. Oh, and he's also the character designer on this whole project too. Then there's Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, the mobile spin-off title. This launched earlier in the year and features a ton of different characters from the franchise, with more being added since launch. He's working as a character designer on this as well. And last but not least, we have Theatrhythm Final Fantasy All-Star Carnival, for which he is also the creative producer. Like Dissidia Arcade, this is also a persistent game, which actually just had an update this past week to add some new songs. Oh wait, there's more! I almost forgot about the Play Arts collaborations with DC Comics that he does design work for, the last of which was introduced to the world just a few weeks ago. So to recap, he's currently working on the Final Fantasy VII Remake, Kingdom Hearts 3, Dissidia Arcade and NT, Dissidia Opera Omnia, Theatrhythm Final Fantasy All-Star Carnival, Play Arts designs, and now Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Is it any great mystery why games under his stewardship take such a long time to get released? I mean, I get the need to have control over certain things, but when does it become too much? Now, I don't think we as fans have any right whatsoever to dictate what he does with his life or how he spends his time, but surely someone in senior management over at Square Enix should be kind of doing that on our behalf. I mean, Tetsuya Nomura is an extremely talented guy, nobody can deny that, and it's great that he wants to be so involved with all these projects, but there's a concept known as spreading yourself too thin. And in this case, it means that his projects just take longer and longer as a result. I mean, it's not a fact that I like to spout out too often, but the harsh reality is that outside of HD collections for the Kingdom Hearts franchise, whenever he's been in the role of either producer or director, he has only ever released one game on a high definition platform, World of Final Fantasy. That's one game in 12 years on high definition systems. Now, as a fan, I'd like to think that I'd somewhat be alright with this if I knew that he was actually focused on one thing and that it was going to be amazing. But it's the question marks that surround his role that only serve to antagonise this situation. Whether it's Final Fantasy vs 13, Kingdom Hearts 3, or now the Final Fantasy 7 remake, the facts just speak for themselves. His games take years upon years to make. And it's not because they're such ambitious projects, it's just because they're never his primary focus. All you have to do is look at Final Fantasy Agato 13, a game that Nomura was also involved with. Tabata spoke about how it was only himself, Nomura and Nayura working on the game during its first two years of development, and at some points Tabata was just working on it by himself. His team also kept getting pushed from project to project like Crisis Core or the Third Birthday, depending on Nomura's whims, and this is something that's just continued over and over. Now it looks like with the Final Fantasy VII Remake that things will now be much more focused, as they've taken it in-house. But it still begs the question in this scenario too, 
Why did it take them two years to come to the realization that Cyber Connect 2 weren't producing what they wanted? Is it just because Numero wasn't really paying attention because he was focused elsewhere? Who knows? And honestly, this is a topic I could probably talk about for hours and hours. But for right now, I'm just hoping that his work with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is rather short-lived and it doesn't serve as a detraction from everything else he's supposed to be working on. How do you guys feel about this news? Would you rather that Nomura just focused on the games he's already committed to? Or are you alright with him just adding more to his plate like this? I'm really interested to hear what you guys think about this, so let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to support us, then head over to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash ffunion. These amazing folks have already done so, so why not join them? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Daryl signing out. I'll see you next time.